everybody, and welcome to Rise of the Podcast. I am Jeremy. I'm Kara. I'm Dave. And I am Brownie. Yeah. You saw that, Brad. Technical difficulties. Bradsworth, you saw nothing. It would be even funnier if you guys could have heard us. Five dollars to whoever can guess Jeremy what I was, was talking, talking about. No, no. About- I was going to say five bucks to whoever guessed what we were talking about. Nobody will ever get it. There's female a cold anatomy. Word. Oh, come on. Now they're all going to get it. Actually, well, not just female. Everybody's got them, but you know. Well, now everybody knows what they are. <laughs> no, $5 is off. No, I'm nobody saying. knows David, what it you is. you subscribed? First, some, first person to comment what it is. Well, how can they not? But Brad's not far off. Hello, Darth Gallum. Uh, not only did I subscribe, I'm on a 12-month streak. Oh, Dang. my goodness. Swanky criminal. <laughs> <laughs> or should I say Squansky Swansky. criminal? Swansky. Squanksky. I'm, you are always and forever swanky. I'm sorry. Well, the rest of us can say swanky. Yeah. Unbelievable. So look. <laughs> there we go. See, I have you now. Got it. Nipples. I have you now. We were talking. What? Have you, when was he talking about them? When I you said. Didn't? Jeremy was like. Should I get longer nipples? No, I could have got shorter nipples. <laughs> is what I would say. No, you asked if you should get should have gotten longer nipples. No, 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 David. I said shorter. I said I got too long of nipples. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't paying that close of attention. <laughs> yeah, so we have. You see the giant spotlight I'm on something here. Oh, Chris just swanky. I'm not saying swings. Oh no, everyone has to say swanky. On. Okay. Well, yeah. So swanky. you see the spotlight. We're adding four more of those, and so the mounts we made out of pipe, and they're kind of far away from the ceiling. Oh, I'm going to need to get shorter nipples, aren't I, David? Because that one's not even going to clear the... I mean... Oh, yeah, you could do that, I, I suppose. Like that. I have you now. Come on. <laughs> well, anyways, so it's, you know, it's a it's a flange, and then a nipple, and then an elbow, and then another <laughs> nipple. What? Brad? What? <laughs> nipple reduction surgery is pretty cheap in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just ship all these pipes off And I have you and... now. It says pepperoni nips. <laughs> You guys, I'm talking about pipe here. This is what happens when you work with pipe. Mm-hmm. You got fun plumber terms. Mm-hmm. Talking about nipples, <laughs> talking about pipes. <laughs> I thought this was a family-friendly show. Yeah, Jeremy, where are you taking this? That's what they're called. Mm-hmm. Anyways, okay, everybody. I really <laughs> hope. I know you haven't, but man, I want to talk about Mando. There's mm-hmm. so much Star Wars stuff to talk about. Um, just because cel- celebration has officially wrapped, we're gonna be doing uh, uh, another internet scavenger hunt later on for your chance to win one of these sweet Beskar ingots. This came off of Chris's printer via Dave uh, printed this right size Bo Katan helmet because that's Karen's next what? cosplay. And Karen, tell us you are, you don't even want to paint it because you're so obsessed. I with love that gold. the gold dip on this man. It looks sick. It's so. super cool. Does it fit you? Well, it does. It just not with my hands, phone, glasses, glasses yeah. though. But um, no, it turned out really nice. Super cool. I'm super stoked. So we got to print the little greeblies on the side when we get home. And uh, I know. Is Wait, it, I have you know it's getting hate. Who's hating on it? People are saying there's. A lot I of haven't filler heard episodes. any hate towards it, but it wouldn't surprise either. me. People, people are saying there's a lot of filler episodes. People are trolls. But they, it paid off with this last episode. It paid off. Yeah. Have I not said this episode is my favorite episode every single episode this season? <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. you have. <laughs> you have. I said two episodes ago that put, that episode put the war in Star Wars. I mean, you, so when we were watching the newest episode this week, Jeremy was like, no, this is Star Wars. <laughs> it's good. Jeremy's pretty stoked about it. It's good content. It's good. No, this, this episode was amazing. And then he was also, um, are we spoiling anything? Not yet. Fine. We're not talking about the. the We're not talking about the major spoiler. <laughs> well, just two episodes. You can't spoil it all. For me. Hey, Gwen said Jason Manning isn't a fan. Chris, you're friends with Jason Manning. Who's Jason Manning? The morning DJ for KQ95. Tell me more oh. about how Jason Manning is not a fan of this season of Mandalorian. Ain't nobody cares about him. Blazzy, you, you subscribe. Blazzy, welcome. welcome. Congratulations. Blazy Blazy. I love that David's too busy wrenching back there to shoot us with I, those balls. I'm with I just think I gotta stop what I'm doing all, so I can All I can you. do is this a little bit. Incoming. Incoming right, it's, what? It's coming. No. Can you guys imagine we're gonna have five of those? <laughs> That's <insane>. Swanky. Jason. <laughs> oh, 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 oh
Oh, oh. oh no! Oh. There's so many wit inside of it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello, that Darkest Night. extra spicy today. <laughs> Who put jalapenos in the smoke machine? I know, Ooh. seriously. <laughs> it is spicy meatballs. Did so you imagine hot sauce? Oh, I dropkick who resubbed while I was streaming earlier today. Oh, dropkick! Can, can you imagine if somebody did put like a few drops of like ghost pepper oil in That's that? That's what I'm saying. Nobody get any ideas. Yeah. I will I'll come after you. <laughs> American Chris Hansen. Let me let me hold on. Let me highlight this real quick. There you go. Says thank you, got the best car ingot, and it is awesome. Thank you, I appreciate it. And it has weight to it. That's like the best part of it. It feels like an actual like ingot of something like special. Mm -hmm. Going from just like normal three D printing to actually using metal stuff, metal it, it is it just feels so right. Well, yeah. How light would this weight. be if it was? Oh, it would be so light. I as mean, plastic. unless you did like a hundred percent infill, which would, I mean, even then it's it, still, it, would, it would still be feel decent. Yeah, it would feel decent with a hundred percent infill. Now. For something this size, how long do you think it would take to print at 100% infill? Three hours. Mm. You yeah. think only three? Yeah. Really? I, yeah, I agree. We should try it. Get well, back to I, everybody. It depends on, one, the printer, two, the nozzle. That's true. And three, who slices it. That's true. <laughs> yes. Yeah, if you did it with a .8 nozzle, that thing's like 60 minutes. Yeah, but you want it to look that. nice, clean, oh, you know, don't want any layer lines. Redeemed a wheel spin. Yeah, right when we started. Oh. I yeah, totally forgot about that. Brownie's, Brownie's live, live art. art. Oh, what do you want me to draw? Blazzy. Tangent, Tangent time. time for me. Who Jinx. Did that? Oh, it's a drop. That's weird. Yeah, th it automatically triggers when whenever somebody uses that emote. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Oh, all that's right, cool. Right. Way to go, I have you. Nice now. and mayhem. I appreciate that you dropped with Jeremy eating pizza <laughs> and it made it into the pot. <laughs> yes. Oh, why is it um eating pizza? <laughs> Draw Jeremy's monstrous oh, nipples. Blazzy. That's what I'm drawing. You don't get a choice. Oh, that's so funny. Like, make them huge. I don't have monstrous nipples. What, I have C3PO. I'm just kidding. I can't do that. I have C3PO on R2D2 on my shirt today. So this, I'm trying to hang me one lights. second. This might get slightly technical difficulties. Just, just bear with me. Okay, well, ball. draw Jeremy eating pizza shirtless with his massive nips. The thumb. Why is the thumb <laughs> eating pizza? Uh, I, no, I have the pizza hand, everybody, oh, not yeah, the pizza that, nips. That makes sense. I have you now. That makes sense. What's that? You have pepperoni nips from all the pizza. Oh, is your processor <laughs> still poop in the bed right now, Chris? Why? A little bit. Oh, that was something I needed to fix. Mm -hmm. There's a bad driver and it's I'll causing make it. <laughs> That's a reference I haven't heard in a long time. That's yeah, old, we, need, we need... Ugg Ugg McBaldi to come back. Nobody wants to watch Ugg Ugg Guys, McBaldi. do you want to see Ugg Ugg McBaldi? I think it's hilarious having Jeremy run around pretty much buck naked in Elden Ring trying to Swanky says yes. Win. See? Boom. I got to spend a little time on, on Zwanky's stream last night. I'll tell you what, the man is ridiculous at Fall Guys. Jeremy says you're a legend. He is a legend. And that you would carry me through if we uh, ever... Partied up. Part and like playing a party. Ooh, I like the lights. Okay, right here's the thing. Jeremy and I played a party together, and we got to the we got to the last the final round, and we did pretty darn good, up until I chose the wrong thing to stand on, and it fell out from underneath me. Chris, you're being a little generous with the hair on top. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm being a little generous with the handsomeness level. I'm, I'm oh, appreciative. That's a miss in this level. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this is funny. Mayhem says, I haven't played Fall Guys in ages, but I just updated it. LOL. We've been, it, like, Swanky's been playing it. We've mm -hmm. been playing it. Um, I just unlocked SpongeBob. I am crushing it. For, I mean, how long have I been actually playing Fall Guys? Well, no, it helps. It's three times XP right this now. This is too. true. This is true. Three times XP, which is. This cool. is true. Okay, all right. So, Star Wars Celebration ended, all mm -hmm. right? Um, yep. Oh, you get a SpongeBob uh, costume to put on your Fall Guy. The bean yeah. Bean SpongeBob. Chip loves him. Like, whenever Chip sees SpongeBob running around in Fall Guys, he goes, SpongeBob! Yeah, he loves it. He loves he it. So, obviously, you have to wear the SpongeBob costume when you're playing Fall Guys. Makes Chip happy. It does. Yep. Um, but all anyway, right. Star Wars Celebration wrap. Yeah. So they announced a bunch of stuff. Is Bad Batch fully out yet? Is that all the episodes of Bad Batch fully out? Up to date? Yes. 
Oh, I don't know. I was I was saying I was saying yes to Mayhem. Oh, Mayhem saying he's gonna play. He's gonna rough him. Oh, you cut. That's cool. super cool. Okay, so all the episodes are Bad Batch. Are all. We have not caught up on Bad Batch. Mm -mm. There's one more episode of Mandalorian <laughs> to come out, and then um, they've announced a <gasps> bunch of stuff. So Give bad him a belly button, so we know he's actually shirtless. <laughs> Bad Batch is one more season confirmed, and then that's it. So one more season of Bad Batch, mm -hmm. and then Bad Batch will be over after season three. Uh, Acolyte will be coming out. Ahsoka is coming out. Super excited, which we never actually watched the Ahsoka trailer last week. I thought we did. We watched Indiana Jones. I'm fairly certain we did not. Did I, we? I don't. Did we? We did. We did. We did? We saw them cut That's the very end of the podcast we did. Yeah, oh, we, we did. just didn't talk about it, did we? I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. But it was it was it was got me really pumped. I can't wait for Ahsoka. Um, we okay, watched so here's it something I wanted was, to talk oh, about with right. that. So like we know Dave Filoni is getting that standalone movie in like four or five years, right? Yep. And that's supposed to be like wrapping up what they call or calling the quote unquote Mandoverse. Yes. So at best, Ahsoka is going to get three seasons. You think so? Yeah, because they're, if they're tying all of it together, mm -hmm. why would they bother doing this wrap up movie if they're still going? Yeah. Do you think she's right. technically a part of Mandoverse, though? She absolutely she's is. She's in introduced in The Mandalorian. Yeah. That's true. That's true. So I think that's something that people aren't really, like, paying attention to. It's like everyone's all hyped for the show. Like, so, like, granted, there have been good shows that have had three season runs, right? But I think that, uh, I think that people should be, like, preparing themselves for <laughs> it not to last, like, a super long time. Um... But so anyways, because we saw, I mean, that is interesting because that story arc started in Rebels TV show. I think Rebels is a much wa must watch before you check out Ahsoka. I but, agree. Um, I guess there's an episode list. We should try to put that together and put it on Discord. There's an episode list of the top six, top six episodes you should watch of Rebels. Mm -hmm. You can narrow it down to six to be up to date. And I would watch about, it all. They're Just, all about Thrawn. I mean, I would personally watch it all. Wouldn't you? Well, yeah, it's my, what's one. I mean, it's as good as the Clone Wars, and a lot of people here have oh, watched the yeah. Clone Wars. The only the only thing is the the um, the cartoon, the drawing is different, the animation is different, and so it's for some people it's a hard transition from Clone Wars to Rebels because I feel like as as the like it went from Clone Wars to Rebels to Resistance, it kind of got more kid friendly, and with that the the animation changed with it. Well, I even think the start of Rebels was more kid friendly than towards the end. Agreed. Because my coworker, um, his kid could not watch season three and four because there's four seasons of Rebels because uh, of Maul. Maul scared him too much. Because once really? once Maul got introduced, it was a little bit darker. Yeah. Is uh, is is what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, hello, Toristin. See, I have you now. Agrees with me. He recommends all of Rebels. I mean, there it, you go. One custom Jeremy drawing. Look at my nips. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's got your classic green underwear. Yes. It's got your obviously. You should make his correct nipple. <laughs> you should make his nips purple. No, why purple? <laughs> Yeah. Why are you making that face? <laughs> or pepperoni color, your choice. <laughs> oh my uh, goodness. Purple's easier. All right, I don't do know purple. What color pepperoni is. I don't know, magenta. Not magenta. Oh, like oh, Chris, maroon. you got to sign it, I guess. Sign oh, it and send, it, sign send it. it to Blazzy. I have you now. Every single episode we see Jeremy's undies. And <laughs> we have in this episode. I would yeah, say right there. there was probably <laughs> a good solid, what, two yeah. months where for some reason Jeremy wore the same underwear on the podcast and it was always lime green with a black band. It's coincidence. Mayhem's going to get a good mm -hmm. drop here, even though it's a oh, bad whoops. emote. Hello, dropkick. Welcome in. So, Chris, earlier today you streamed on ROTP. Tell us how that went. I think it went pretty well. I, th I feel like people <laughs> were very generous in giving me their time. Hello, Pete. <laughs> so, uh, you are done with the mini Stormtrooper helmet, right? You were working on the Mando no, helmet today? I've, I've got to do some more finishing stuff on Like, I need to clear coat it and polish it still. So. You're going to go for the polish? Yeah. That is helmet? one thing. It was Cam's ankle talking to you at all on there? Uh, no, he was kind of busy doing stuff, but he was definitely on for a little bit. He is very passionate oh, about Stone Monkey. He says everybody finishes 3D print stuff, but nobody ever goes that little last extra step and does some like buffing and polishing. I didn't even know you could do it to spray paint, but apparently you can get it like 
you know, non-stick. You could fry an egg on there. And Jeremy needs really to good. get working on this baddie now. It, uh, we've had it for 10 minutes. I need you to up. finish it tomorrow. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's Spin it. up the bolt here. I'll no, it look. literally is tight. This is for Stone Monkey. Yep. Jeremy well, that, Pizza Dance! Uh, we have heard that the pizza dance is overrated, and we don't need to do it anymore. Who said it's overrated? What? No, you're full of crap, Jeremy. Um, I think Jeremy's dreaming that, this, that or his schizophrenic said, other self all. is saying this. Do anti-pizza thumb in chat if you think I should do the pizza Put Jeremy chat. eating yeah. pizza... No, don't do me. In, the, in chat, if you believe oh, Jeremy whoops. should... Always and forever do, continue should, the pizza dance. We should do a poll and see if people want the people pizza want dance. the dance. They I'll, want the I'll dance. Do a poll. I'm very confident that people. I am very confident. Look at this. We already have no, no. That's, loss of Jeremy eating pizza emotes. Look at this. No, Come on, keep it going. Those are different. No, those are the, those are those are the thumbs eating pizza, Jeremy. That's you. Nope. Stop <laughs> the legs, says Mayhem. Yep. Stray Sin Defect has entered the chat. I'm telling you. Yeah. People don't want the pizza dance. Should we respin or am I no, doing the pizza No, you're doing dance? the pizza dance. Don't be... You're doing the pizza get, dance. Get out of here. Don't touch it. Am I doing it in outer right. space? <laughs> you can do it here. Hello, King Rawl. Do I do it in outer space or do you I do You just it? made it for Jeremy to do the pizza dance. Oh. <laughs> Are we going right, to no. drop the beat, Chris? Uh, do we, we're doing it before we finish the poll, or oh, we can do the poll. That's fine. No, no, good. I'm glad. So here's the choices for the poll. <laughs> <laughs> Is it yes, 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 yes in parentheses? No. <laughs> I love yeah. the, I love the red. I'm so glad the color is back. That's so cool. What is it up with yes? No, you guys are bringing an absolute pandemonium. Who wants to just earn their hard-earned tangent crystals that they sit and watch and participate oh, in the show? Which yes just... is going to win, though? Yes one or yes two? <laughs> why Why is there not one vote for no? Come on. Nope, we don't need any no's. If anybody puts in no, it will have been a slip of the finger. Because like they truly meant yes. It's like that stupid dentist commercial where it was like nine out of ten dentists, ten dentists, ten dentists, <laughs> nine out of ten <laughs> dentists <laughs> say this is a good toothbrush, and the other one shows them he's just swatting out a fly. <laughs> Brad said this is like getting me to do anything. <laughs> it's like pulling teeth for Stone Jeremy. Stone Monkey says I can elect a more embarrassing. What's more embarrassing than the pizza dance? Hey, King Raul got his best car in oh, the mail so today. We were, tra we were talking about Way this Way to go, during, King Raul. Um, when I was streaming earlier. Yes, here you go, Jeremy. If, if we give you guys like a let's make a deal option, if it's something that you don't want to do, you can pick between a couple other things and I can offer whatever. Oh, let's make a deal on, on wheel spins would be dope. Hold on, before you go, let me try to get the board change. Oh, the auto tune? Yeah. Yes. Uh, which one is it? Which one is it? Okay, I think that's it. Is our voice auto-tuned? It should be. Let us know in chat. All right. You toss the pizza. You toss the pizza. You put on the sauce. You put on the sauce. Add the cheese. Add the cheese. And you put it in the oven. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Toss the pizza. Toss the pizza. You put on the sauce. Put on the sauce. Add the cheese. Add the cheese. And you put it in the oven. What? Mic drop. What? <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Cam says auto-tune wasn't working. Yay. No. Well, that's just good. The beat is great. I can't see anything now. Because Chris, what's the name of that that one? When 900 years old, you reach look as good you are not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did Dropkick cheer a bit? Yeah, uh, it, it's it's called Bish Please. <laughs> I love it. It's so I funny. Don't like sand. It's coarse. So here, I'm, I'm, I'm Who's doing rock, these awesome sound candy. effects? I, I'm doing them. I'm just kind of going through them. I have to go through them one by one to turn the volume up on them. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm just going to be doing that for a little bit. The enthusiasm falls every day. Thank you, Brad. <laughs> no, it's called Nips, please. <laughs> it's so true. Um, Kara, you did a movie review, did you not? No. You didn't finish it. Chip never took a not long enough nap. 
Did you at least start it? No. What? Did you rent it and not start it? No, I didn't rent it either. Oh, okay. Well, I thought Kara had watched. Was Watership down? Yeah. With 900 years I'm going to get to it, guys. I'm sorry. Good, you are not. Hmm? Is that the only one you have left? Yes. Me? Okay. That's the you're, only one. Caught up again. Yep. Builders hey, Mark, Builders welcome Mark. in. Hello, Builders Mark. I'm still trying to talk Jeremy into that 3D printer. <laughs> We have so many 3D printers. Okay, no, 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 everybody, I want you to ask what two printers Jeremy really, really wants right now. And he came this close to spending almost $2,000 on buying them both. No, well, not, what, what? First of all, I made the wise decision to, instead of spending the money, I transferred the money into our savings account mm -hmm. instead of spending it. So it was like Do it Do we want to know what he wants, though? He wants the Prusa Mark IV. You didn't even give him a chance to answer. And he wants a Voron. Yeah, I'm not going to buy them both, first of all. I want to build a 350 by mm -hmm. 350 Voron. Core XY. Did yep. we do Stone Monkey's wheel spin? Yes, that was the... Oh, that's what the pizza dance was? Yeah. That was the pizza dance. Now, yep. Jeremy, how much is a 350 by 350 See, Voron? Darth Gallum wants a mark... It depends... It depends on where you source the motor kits, where you like. Print How the much parts would from. it be if you want it? If you, if you, if I bought it completely hands off and just like the creme de la creme, fourteen hundred. But if I substitute and go price out everything myself and get the parts list and print everything oh, else, hold, nine hundred. Hold on, did I miss something? Did we get raided or something? Did I don't think so. Did we? Uh, Gwen, oh yeah, we did. We Blacksmith got raided. raided oh, Blacksmith, Blacksmith! Thank you. Hey, Blacksmith. Hello. Pop. How no, did we miss I, that? I, we I'm need. So sorry that I I missed the notification. Oh, we need Chris something that party pops up when uh, a raid pops in. Hey, Thank you for the raid. <laughs> Cam's ankle. Kara wanted one of those pancake printers so bad. Oh my gosh! Yes, I did. But I was like, I want one if I can win one, not if did I have to Did you see <laughs> how much room? Oh, my goodness. Did you just give Chris the right to do another one? The right to do another what? Chris has the right to Chris, do another DJ. one more light. Uh, light on, but it's pointing at the ceiling. Whoa. Well, it has to be addressed as well. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to. <laughs> it was um, moving with the other one, the first one. Oh, oh that it. would be yeah. funny, uh, well, Swanky. So, mm -hmm. Heck, yes. Oh, you know what? Because right, so it probably has the same, same address. address so it's yes. the same Swanky says we should do the pizza song clip pop up every time we get rated. Oh, my goodness. I appreciate that. I do think we should do that. I 1,000% agree. <laughs> so, Pete, you know, Cam's ankle and everything. Um, you buy the... Get, okay, so, okay, Pete, don't enable us. First of all, did you guys see how big... It's pancake robot huge. was compared to loyal no uh, well loyal small well, that's, that's, <laughs> oh, <rude. laughs> yeah. well no but it was yeah. huge the thing was massive i mean poor guy he's not here to defend himself but, <laughs> but no, back me up here <laughs> the the pancake robot was massive it, the thing was ridiculous pancake bot? you're never gonna whip that out on your counter and make pancakes for people with that thing chip would love it can you, you imagine that, that's like you for you if you owned a restaurant? I'm can, sorry. No, can you imagine? We will see you shortly. Wait, who's what? 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 Oh, um, so um, Blacks with Pop says I have to. I'll be back online in a bit. I have to shut everything in, in the oh. shower and then log back on. So. All right, Blacksmith. We'll see you in a bit. Pete says compared to Loyal, everything is big. Ha! Huh. Yeah. Boom. Uh, <laughs> right, so Jeremy, can I can I trouble you to go and address that other light? Oh, I'll go address the light. Sure, absolutely, Kara. What am I going to talk about? Give a free wheel spin. Uh, well, you Ooh! and I can talk about addressing the thing. I just need to tell him what I, what I need okay. to address to be. Gary's going to do a free wheel spin. Free wheel spin. Hopefully we get a giveaway or something. Free wheel spin. Hopefully it's something good. Okay, I have another one here. Second. Oh! Yeah, you're <laughs> <laughs> One word Star Wars story. Chris, is this just going to be you okay. and me? Yeah, I believe so. Oh. All right, so do you want to start it? Uh, sure. Uh, let's see. I think he needs it in multiple. Uh, Sith. Road. A. Speeder. Toward. What, did you say sword? Toward. Toward. Oh, so it's road, a speeder, toward. Bantha. Poodoo. <laughs> It's always going to end in Bantha Poodoo. Why would you lead up with Bantha then? <laughs> well, because Bantha's dope. Fine. Tuscan. He, no, that's fine. So he went crazy. 
from blue milk. <laughs> I was trying to think of the. I don't know why nipples are on my brain, but what was the name of the creature that Luke milked on? That's green milk, and I don't remember what the name of that thing uh, was. I need, it, I need it on address 16, Jeremy. Oh, 16. So it's not in multiples of 12. Uh, well, it is, but we got the smoke machine in between. Okay, so, all right, so you need 16, and then what do you need? You, ha you have another light, Chris. Okay, so it'd be six. Uh, hold on, let me let me add a, a fixture here. Guys, I know this is very exciting for you. Well, no, we're about to get more lights. That's pretty cool. Chip would love it. Brad clipped it. What's that? What? I don't know. The pizza thing. The, the pancake bot. So it's really funny. Um, so when I was listening to Loyal's stream about the pancake bot, Chip was like, he, so there's a, we've talked about it, Perry Grip. Swanky, you know who he, who that is. Um, Chip specifically requested the song Pancake Robot as they were talking about the Pancake Bot on Loyal Stream. Yeah, the Pancake he's, Robot is coming to town. Yep. He's, he's mixing up the, the batter, batter and he's, he's laying, laying it down. down. Buttermilk, blueberry, chocolate, chocolate chip, 50 million pancakes he's, he's going to flip. flip. All you can eat. <laughs> All you can eat. The Pancake Robot is coming to town. <laughs> Um. <laughs> anyways, so you just tell me the addresses, Chris, and then I'll just run up and. Yeah, I just need to. I'll watch the clip when after the podcast after the stream. Oh gosh, can I just do put it in Discord, Bradsworth? That is an intensive Discord. light setup. I that's you the song Pancake Robot. Bad. Bradsworth. It's the song Pancake Robot. You should listen to it. It's funny. That is the world's longest. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's. Excessive. <laughs> yes. Well, I can't sit on the floor. I'm just trying to get at least four lights going tonight. That's Bradsworth, insane. I don't like. Okay, here's the thing. You're not out of touch. I will bring up Perry Grip to parents because, like, his music's not super annoying the, the compared to other kids' songs. And uh, Is that a free Mountain Dew. 16 and 27. 16 and Wait, 27. Wait, what about a free I'll Mountain Dew? 16 and 27. I'll go address it. Anyway, and most parents have no idea who Perry Grip is. I thoroughly enjoy Perry Grip. It's good stuff. I don't know. He's funny. Chip really likes Potato Dog. That one's cute. Jeremy's favorite is Marshmallow Penguin and bro uh, Pirate Snail on Broccoli Island. Yo. Pirate Snail on Broccoli Island? Yep. It's kind of cute. The animation's adorable. He also does a bunch of Star Wars songs. He's got one about Ewoks, one about Jawas, one about Baby Yoda. I think there's a couple others in there. He's good. We like him. DJ Guys, they're expecting me to carry this. And I don't know. <laughs> Wait, we missed a wheel spin? Whose wheel spin did we miss? Where do we get those? Cam, we did yours, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, we did the one-word story. I need another address from Chris. But we did one before. It's 16 and 27. Chris, I need one more address. Cam. You have the fourth light now. Who did I miss? 16 and 27, so it'd be 38. 38, okay. Yeah, Cam was the only wheel spin that we had <clears throat> left, so. I mean, Jeremy did say to do a free wheel spin, so it's Cam's the one-word oh. story, and then me. Okay, so, okay, so okay. let's do a free one then. All right, all right. Why does this dumb thing keep? <laughs> respin it. Respin. Yeah, we'll respin that. Jeremy doesn't like me talking about Bantha Poodoo. It's funny. I think it's hilarious. And Jer why would you continue to use Bantha if you don't need to say Poodoo? Oh, you were close, Cam. I know full well that you were going for Kara Movie Review. But guess what? You're being added to the Laser Brain Hall of Fame instead. Ha! <laughs> Oh, does he get a TIE fighter or does he get... I don't know. I suppose I should be asking everybody, are you light side or dark side? Are oh. you... Are you... This is the dark Rebels. side I set. I don't, I don't think Cam has been on yet. This is the dark side set, so it would be probably shooting down X-Wings or Y-Wings. Well, we can let them choose. No. Um, yes. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Aha! Best Welcome out of three. The dark Best side. out of three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What did you put behind that? Nothing. Figure? Don't worry about it. 
Oh man, Kara's got a tell. I can beat her every time. What was my tell? If your eye is up, you're gonna do rock. If it's looking straight at me, you're doing paper. And if it's all the way down, you're doing scissors. What? I can win every time. That is, I do not do that. Yes, you do. I I got got to do two out of three. That's all I'm saying. No, Jeremy read this article about some algorithm that women go like with one something paper first. No, rock. Then why'd you go scissors? Because I know you know that I know no, the algorithm. Is, mm, okay, you know that I know. Okay, well. Is it, well. You remembered about the algorithm. Of course See, I Cam did. Cam says he's shooting down wing, X-Wings anyways. I haven't put it in my I have Fine. If you guys want, do you guys want to choose you can let us know and you can be a rebel pilot or an imperial pilot. I was going to put egg or tie fighters on underneath the laser rain hall of fame but I mean I guess you can shoot down x wings losers just kidding I know <laughs> that you know that I know the algorithm <laughs> That's a tale as old as first rule of poker. Never spoil the tells. Should I? Do you want me to? So I'm, I I don't know why I cannot duplicate this freaking light. You can't just copy and paste it into each one. LED moving head 100 watt. Okay, it's never mind. I I just had to figure out what I had used as the default LED. All right, Dave's covered. I'm gonna Chris is droid cam working. Do you know? What? Why am I, yeah. am I covered? No, I'm just shooting your way oh. for a second. Yeah. No, you're good. I'm back. Show everybody the new. So this is. Oh, that looks cool. Ah. <laughs> So that's one light. I have you now since he's shooting down the Death Star. So that's one of the new ones. Hello, Waste and Time. Welcome in. Chris, you can see the mounts. Hey, he, he is truly right. Wilson in that shot. And there's another one. So. Waste and Time, how was your son's play? What play did they do? Anyways. Boom, boom, boom. Cool light. Okay, so just to confirm, we have 16, 27, and 38. 16, 27, and 38. Yep. All right, do Darth Gallum's wheel spin. You're going to get a giveaway here? I'm going to tighten it up. It was loose. Wait, why, why, why would we do a giveaway? Well, no, people want, I'm assuming people want a giveaway. They did Moana? That's cool. Who'd your son play? Was he Maui? Oh, no. Yeah, it. What a shame. Who spun that, Jeremy? Don't that, what? That was Darth Gallum. Oh, 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 right in the mom, dude. Oh, oh my nipples are purple. Oh, oh no, grab your helmet, Kara. Protect it. Oh, that's, oh, what, what happened oh, here? It you dented my can. Do, uh, very well covered. Well, look at oh, that. I still got it. Yeah, you dented it. <laughs> I was going for it. <laughs> if it will dent a can, <laughs> that says something. I'll tell you what. Oh, nice. He was one of two stagehands. Sta- okay, honestly, so when I was... Um, my first couple years in college, I worked costuming for our <laughs> college's Sorry, theater department. you now. What? I'm going to highlight his message. Oh. And honestly, like, oh, working <laughs> me again. behind the scenes in theater is so fun. Is it, it is. fun? Oh, yeah. I never did theater. Nope, me either. I, well, I, I would, well, okay, in high school, like, I was in, the, in our plays. Brad, but, you do have a dent in your can. <laughs> Jeremy's got a dent in his brain. I don't have a dent in my brain. I love the color of the lights right now, the background lights. That's cool, yeah. Then we should do a blackout. Just saying. I got you. I I got you. You both got it. I feel it kind of reminds me of like a tropical or something. can do it. (laughs) (laughs) What are we doing? Uh, Just a blackout because I think the lights look sweet. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful color. That is so cool. Yeah. That is just amazing. Do you guys notice I've been sitting crooked because, oh, here, I'll just let it pull on my face. <laughs> this thing is, that is, these are bright lights, these spotlights. Oh, well, that is bright. Chris. Oh, Chris, that's sick. It's just aimed at the ceiling right now, unfortunately. Oh, right in the eye. Oh, you are David. <laughs> you are literally on David. I should go to droid cam. Let me just draw to droid cam. This <laughs> okay. is too funny. That's fine. 
This is uh, this I can't is... see them. How funny. <laughs> Look at the light. Is it is like right on David? <laughs> oh, it's really funny because it's like David's body, Chris's head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> from that, that angle, he literally turned it on and it just zoomed right to David. Oh, right that's really funny. Too. No, that is right. Uh, that's really funny. So Pete, nice drop, good. nice drop. That's hitting the right there. Now just go down. Now just go up, up. You're gonna go, go up, up, yeah. Because it's inverted, because it's upside down. Yep, keep going up. Yes! <laughs> yes! You, we have you now, Kara. What? Ooh! That was so cool. I like it. I like it. I love it. You guys I are on the- I want some more oh, of it. Another Woo! one. Okay, Chris, just go straight don't, down. Don't oh, no, it. no, go, go 90 degrees. Now go straight up. Sorry, straight up. You're right above the up. monitor. Yep, go straight up. Yes! Oh, cool. Hey! This is so cool. Jeremy <laughs> needs to go down a little bit more on him, though. No, I'll just get into this shot. I, I can adjust it slightly. Whoa, they, like, shortened your face. You're not Chris Perillo. You're Jeremy. Chris Shortrillo. What, is your microphone blocking your face, or what's yeah, going on yeah, here? Like, because, you know. All right. So You guys first, are baited. I testing. feel like we should be singing some sort of sultry blues, like, you know. The one on Jeremy's still on the floor. We don't have a long yeah. enough power cord for that one yet. Um, All right. What, that, oh, that one it? go uh, just up again. Okay, yeah, just go up. It should be. You know what? I should have just keep going about. up. Keep going up. Okay, that's good. And then you're gonna go opposite of left or right because you know you know what you're doing. Yeah. Well, so this one might have to go all the way around. Yep. Yeah. This one's gonna have to go all the way around. <laughs> That's so unbelievably cool. Can you, because this is light, can you RGB color light and it'll, the overlap will be a different color? It absolutely will be. Yep. Cool. That's super cool. Oh, did the 101. Gus did a 101. Oh, that's out of the book. Oh, <gasps> yeah. yeah. Cam is the only one donating bits. Okay. You guys, we did all this work to hang up all of these lights. Oh my goodness, look at the fog. Chris, did you just control the fog remotely too? Yeah. That's sweet. This all is right. a trip. Is everybody ready? It looks so cool oh, in drop here. Kick, thank you for the cheer. So that's a nerf darting level cheer. A hype oh, train. Great. Hype train, what? You guys, thanks for beta testing our show with us. We're beta <laughs> testing our lights. I'm so glad we got these. I think we need a little bit more smoke. David's not by the computer. Oh, yay! Cam donated some... Uh, oh, okay. Wait, where are you? I can't see you. Hey, D-Matt. <laughs> this is dark shooting. I can't believe this. Oh, 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 oh. oh, the girl falls in space. Oh, 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 the nose! <laughs> Execute order 60. Oh, my goodness. I, I, Darth okay, Gallum, read, thank you. I'm going to read through that audio cue. I just need to, I need to turn that up. To my DMT is cord. kicking in. What's DMT? Disco music tech? <laughs> no, what is DMT? I don't know. Press The time has come. Execute order 66. This is really so, uh, cool. I, I still need to go through and turn the volume up on all those. I don't know why they default to Michaelisto. He's gonna get a good drop. He's gonna as long as you get in, I'll be happy. Uh, it's gonna hit oh, and bounce out. No, no it's gonna bounce it. out. Bummer, uh, bummer. That was. Looks like my neck is broken. Wait, Stone Monkey. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Is he gonna get better though? No. Uh, he didn't stream protocol. Pete, right. Nope. He's, he's gonna, gonna miss. Overshoot. Yeah, he's gonna overshoot. All right, Cam. Here's your. Swanky said Reading. DMT is a hallucinogenic drug. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? He shoved his hands in the front pockets of his jeans, a gesture that made him look so much like the 18-year-old boy she knew, even though he was taller now and more filled and definitely a man. <laughs> A man she saw every evening through the windows of the tavern when he closed up the shop. He only popped into Midtown on the night she wasn't closing. An unspoken deal the two of them seemed to have made years ago. 
For all intents and purposes, the man standing just beside her bedroom door was a complete and utter stranger. Did you see what happened? What? Cam's ankle got knocked in by a pumpkin bouncing around from the cheek. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> That's awesome. He got, he got knocked over. So, like, if you look at me, he got knocked over towards it and he was going to overshoot it then another one hit him and knocked him back in. Yes! The fact that those interact with each other is incredible. Right, we need another IP address. I can't, that's unbelievable. Um, I can't believe that. Chris, you have five, so you have one more address. David hooked it up and it's just another the thing is freaking out on him. Oh, you did at least switch it to address. Okay. This one's not. Right, so the, so that one would end up being okay. um, oh gosh. It's going to turn the... Nope, it still stays on. Uh, that's going to be Where's 39. Where's my marking pencil? There 39. Okay, I'll be right back. 39. I figured we have all the stuff. Yeah. Might as well hook that one up on the floor. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so the end two are on the I, floor. I think that counts. Putting the 101 together between Dropkick and, and Cam. Let's do another... Okay. Another well, let me... Just, the last part of the sentence was, yet there were things she was sure only he knew about her as well, and those she only knew about him. So that was the end of that oh. one paragraph. All right. Dang. <laughs> Bet she's got a mole somewhere. Salt. They're sultry. Oh, the voice in her head grew louder, repeating its request, but she didn't move. Couldn't move until she heard the rest of his thought. Let's get another paragraph. That's a pretty short one. Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> why do I keep going to the end of chapters? All right. Colt Morgan clapped a palm on to Boone's shoulder and gave him a reassuring squeeze. Jenna's got him, he assured Boone, but I can't trust you not to kill yourself on a simple arena ride. I might have to rethink hiring on a mechanic as a rancher. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best book ever written. I don't think it's even close. <laughs> Lord of the Rings remakes, they should um, make this into a feature film. Yes, when you were off doing your own thing and you guys left me to talk, that's what I should have talked about. What, the fact that Lord of the Rings is doing a remake? Yeah. Unnecessary. Did, did you guys hear about this? Is this on 49, Jeremy? It, uh, 39, you said. Oh, sorry, I meant 49. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Reassuring Squeeze is the new band name. Yes, Bradsworth. But no, did people oh. hear that they are remaking Lord of the Rings? Like That's stupid. I agree. It's been 20 years since the release of Return of the King, which is like, I went to opening night of Return of the King dressed up as Arwen. <laughs> nice. Um, uh, Brad, what was the t-shirt idea that we had during the earlier stream? No. That one's plugged into the wall. The rest are. But I, I said, like, somebody said something very nice to me. Oh. And I was, uh, oh, someone turned the lights back on? David? I didn't do it. Oh, Mike D might have done it. No, oh. it just must have timed out. So we have you have one no, more layer. Was like crazy over, so I'm gonna black out again. The blackout's kind of fun. I said we got all these nice at like lights and everything, so that we get you know nice beautiful. We don't even need it because we have all these cool. Yeah, that's unfathomably cool. No, uh, so Brad, it was like uh, as like because um, I can't remember who said it now, and I feel super bad. I should have written it down. <laughs> But they said something really nice about it. And it's like I'm not trying. Oh, he said uh, like I was. It was like a good conversation or whatever. And it's like I just try to be, my, yeah, mildly not incompetent. <laughs> uh, 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 that's funny. That's all I try to be is mildly not incompetent. Way to go, D Matt's got a good drop there. Cam, you want me to elaborate on the fact that they're remaking Lord of the Rings? Like, RJ, I love that emote. So anyway, Jeremy told me about it this morning. Apparently, yesterday. That they announced so that they're going to be doing a remake. Warner Brothers is. But Warner Brothers owns New Line, and New Line is the original production company of um, the original trilogy. I don't think it needs to be redone, personally. It doesn't. I think it's fine, as is. Do they leave stuff? So the, the reasoning behind it, I guess they've... <laughs> Carrie, you look like a duck. Your shadow. Put your arm back. <laughs> no, the other way. Put Touch your... Yep, yep, yep. Close the beak. I'm there trying to close no, the no, beat. No, there you go. Now look up and honk. Whack. <laughs> <laughs> this is the riveting content I'm trying to see. Whack, whack, whack. <laughs> My goodness. Anyway, they said that they felt... <laughs> First time, Chad, who's this? 
Wait, first time chat. Random Rick reviews. Random Rick reviews Welcome. Are, are Rick How reviews. are you? We're talking about, well, you I'm trying to talk. Time. What? You what? came in at a very strange time. Yes, you did. We're talking about the fact that they're remaking Lord of the Rings. Well, I am. I don't think anybody else really cares, but I do. Well, so, well, no, here's what I was going to say. Okay. The Lord of the Rings came out at the perfect time between CGI and practical effects. So when they needed to use CGI, it accentuated the film, but they didn't need to just go full bore with it. And they kept enough people practically like costuming well, and everything like that. Now the new ones are just going to be all CGI. Yeah. I don't think they're going to be putting like much effort into. They need to keep Weta as, um, the company that does the CGI because they did the CGI for the original movies. And like, there are some scenes it's like, <laughs> that is CGI. Like when they do like the big army scenes and yeah. they obviously like have to make these, you know, huge CGI arm, you know, armies. Um, but like the cave troll, the Balrog, those look freaking sweet even now, 20 years later. They do. They look. I like think that. they look amazing. And they, I mean. No, random, Rick. We, I watched episode one, and we didn't watch any more than that. Yeah. My younger brother said 37% of people finished, or of viewers actually finished watching The Rings of Power. I haven't made it through more than 15 minutes of any of Give them. away! What? Nice, Dave. Nice. I Solid. Try, I try my best. You enjoyed it, Pete? <laughs> well, okay, so... Is it cleared, Chris? If they didn't change I, I, so I'm, I'm much... Clear it again just in case. I feel like I would have enjoyed it more. Oh, nope, nope. Dropkick and C. Sam Fisher are not going to make it in. Dropkick. 37% <laughs> of, of dentists agree. <laughs> well, let, me, let me double check the document i can i can manually I didn't enter i just put up the thing oh okay so okay from the sounds of it it sounds like they want to stay pretty true to the books which i'm really hoping for they felt like a lot was not said in the movies and so i'm like i'm assuming they're talking about like tom bombadil and um oh who was that the guy in brie the like the 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 one who's kind of wreaking havoc and like he was the owner of Bill the horse the pony. What was his name? We just I'm we blanking. Just, we just need new IP. As, Stop as, remaking. Has anyone the got angry? Hold on. None of these have confirmed the entry. Is it supposed to confirm? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it sends a confirm message. So something's going. Oh, on. now they are. Dropkick entered. Ken's oh, okay. Well, so the the clear worked then. Because the text thing was completely empty. Okay, so we're good. Okay, we are going to be doing a scavenger hunt for an ingot. Do we want to give away a roll of filament, or do we want to give away another? Like, do we want to give away two ingots? That's up to you. How many ingots do we have left? A lot. One, two, three. We have a lot. Seven. Eight. Well, numbered wise of the original batch, we only have two or three left. You have 900 lights on you. Are you trying to figure out which one? <laughs> anyway, Elijah Wood came out. And stone he... monkey, I'd accept an ingot. <laughs> <laughs> well, who won the wheel you spin, David? You can, you can choose. You won the giveaway. Filament or ingot? Let's do an ingot tonight. Okay. Dang, generous Dave over here. Okay, um, so what is it? It's 750 Central right now. Yep. Let's give. Let's get. Let's do like ten minutes. Okay. We'll leave it open for another ten minutes, and then we'll draw for that one. Which one are you giving away? Uh, well, should we do a numbered one for this? Sure. Yeah. All right. Fourteen. Fourteen. Number out fourteen. Of Pick my spotlight. Uh, hold on. Let me. Sorry, I was writing something down here. Oh no, Four, I'm just. Four two. Ooh, psychedelic. Here it is in yellow. Wait, is Jeremy's light is half blue, green. half green? Here it is in like the blue. Like, the light coming out of it looks green, like green on the bottom, blue on the top. Like, half. It might be. It might no, be halfway it, in between. It's, uh, I think, because you're viewing it through another light. But I'm viewing the whole thing through another light. It might be halfway in between gobos. I think this one's Jeremy. Yeah, and now it's red and yellow, green and blue. There's compl oh, completely, yellow. yeah, there's a blue and red or blue and orange. There's Pure. completely magenta. There's blue, orange. 
blue, dark blue, royal blue, purple, whatever. Okay. Yeah, the, the, it's got like half gobos and stuff, depending on the position of the. That's thing. cool. Do you guys like, like are the, the are the, the lights fun? This doesn't help anybody except for you guys, but I just have these sliders that. Oh, adjust the, that's cool. That's cool. So Chris, now during the week, here's what's going to be fun. Um, is going to be able to make scenes. So then the lights can hop to certain preset positions, preset colors. And right, Chris, you can hit like activate scene one. Oh, well, yeah. So now if, if I go to this, if I go into this scene, it's going to change completely. Did you save that or, other one as a scene or did you just mess it all up? Yeah. If I let me go back into it. Nice. Oh, Solid. It's, it's prob probably would help if people could actually see. So when I go. Uh, Hold on, let me let me save this. <laughs> <laughs> so if I go into this one, so not not even all the fixtures are in there. Ooh, I like this the, color scheme. What on the lights behind us? Yeah, the wall lights, they're cool. But so then, as you switch between scenes, so actually, let, let me duplicate this one. Then let's go clone. We're cloning things one. now. Can I delete this one? Delete. Yes. So now I'm just gonna just like adjust all the colors to be something different here. Give me one second. Do dark, 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 dark. Oh, so you're gonna make me actually pick <laughs> colors. I was just gonna pick random stuff. Oh, all right, okay. fine. I was gonna say just different shades of red or something is like. Different you know. shades of red. Well, I can only, well. The 50 shades, shades of red? I don't, I don't even know which light, that, okay, so that's that light. Sorry guys, this is, the, new toys are getting set up, you know. Bradsworth, which dealer are you speaking of? So here's what, I'm just gonna set all of them to go crazy random. How about that? All right. Ooh. Hopefully nobody has epilepsy here. If you don't, you will. Yep. We should have a warning. <laughs> is that party mode there or what? That is a puke sweet. of colors. Yep. The inevitable. Pretty wild. Fog. Okay, Pretty wild. so. But anyway, sorry, like getting back to this. Uh, so then literally all I have to do is just click on this scene and then it switches back. Nice. Dude, that's so cool. I mean, I'm assuming all of us have played laser tag. I have, yeah. The smell of the smoke machine takes me back to playing laser tag at like um, Adventure Zone. Yep. Carnival Thrills yeah. or whatever it is now. <laughs> now I want to yeah, make a right? blaster. That I can shoot across the smoke with a slow tracing <laughs> light beam or something. Oh, that'd be cool. A puke of colors. Y'alls. Pete, you're a club DJ? Yeah, what? Give us a little synopsis of. Yeah, dude. Holy cow, that's cool. Back in Grand, Grand Slam. Slam. That's what it was. Yep. Yes. That's what it was. I was there when it was oh, a Grand yeah. Slam. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. It's okay. It Did has changed that, names a number of times. I, Wait, I like, what? People peed in the putt putt? <laughs> what? Did they change it? No, you. Uh, I have you now was a wedding DJ for a while. No way. What is up Man. with all these DJ people? If I had known this, you could have come and DJed our wedding. Was working up DJ lights. <laughs> <laughs> you guys feel at home because this is this is was your right? life. We need some you know some music going on right now. We Pete can did like touring even. How no cool way! Is that? What? I'm sorry, I'm Pete. Not Do I have this rename an option? That's here? sick. That's super cool. Do you like still have your DJ <laughs> yeah. stuff and whatnot? Overshoot. He said it smelled like pee and smoke machine. I have you now. Says he has all of. Oh, you have all the DJ lights. Dang. Cam's ankle. You want the pizza dance right now? I don't think so. And you should. You should do the the crazy changing lights. Well, you know. No way. Yeah. That needs to get put on the wall. Does it, the laser <laughs> machine, you can't change Pete, the direction, right? It's the most fun you can have with all your clothes on. That is on. correct. The laser machine is stuck where it is. That's cool, I mean, Pete. I can hook it up so he can control it. Do you it. still, like, do DJ stuff, or you just have your stuff? Like, do people ask you to do weddings and whatnot? I don't know. I and I now, have you now, like. as a controller in the software. Do you still do, and like, the occasional weddings and stuff? No way, you guys, like, that's awesome. That's cool. That's super cool. 
Wait. Sorry, I'm just messing around with stuff while you guys are talking. I'm, I'm, I want to make interrogation mode real quick and see what it looks like. <laughs> I'm to point all these at Jeremy. <laughs> you never know. If you're good, Pete, who cares how old you are? I just just saying. And that reminds me of a, a Daft Punk song where the, the intro is a guy talking about doing the discotheque in the 70s or whatever. The what? Discotheque. Mm, I feel like this right here would be like a Halloween kind of lighting for like my face. As each one gets <laughs> infinitesimally more intense. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> this is unbelievable. And why you put it on the bald guy? It's like, this is like, refl look at that. I don't even need a filter anymore. You know what, Pete? You can tell that promoter to go suck an egg. You're doing a 60, 360 no scope on the side. Yeah, there, it's, it's, it's got to come around. Does it really? Yeah. I feel Here like. It comes. Oh, my goodness. I feel like you're really, truly never too old to do anything if you physically that, 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 can still do it. I, you guys need to just see my point of view Um, here. I love how this is still reading my face, even though I'm in the dark. That's a pretty good filter. Yeah, it is. You guys need to see. It's like we think there's faces. a face in there, so we're going to. <laughs> Wait, you're <laughs> zoomed in. It's like there's a light on me there. Close encounters of the third degree here. <laughs> we need to question Jeremy now. Jeremy, where were you on the night of August 10th, 1998? Adventure Zone. <laughs> no, Grand Slam. What, Grand yeah, Slam. Right. <laughs> Whoa, no. I see him coming. No, I yeah, can't shoot see Jeremy, anything. not it's me. It's completely dark. Oh, they're bouncing off me. Oh, my goodness. Wait, you got, you have... A website? Pete! Has a website. Pete does. He said, if we want to listen to his stuff, we can totally go to his website and listen to it. That's DJ amazing. DJPeteSavis.com. That's cool. There's streaming. Mike says he couldn't have been at Adventure Zone because it was Grand Slam. Then. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ultimate gotcha. Yeah. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Mike is Cam calling you out. Gifting a tier one sub. Who did that? Uh, Cam. Random Rick reviews. Oh, way to go. Is that what? We, oh, Whoa, oh, oh, oh. those lights, like, after <laughs> that, the, the, they the seem very thing. yellow. Very. I'm glad I put my hand on it. Well, oh. I, I tried, I tried, guys, but. You tried what? To, to give you regular light, but now... What? <laughs> <laughs> I love that effect. The way that it, like, homes around yeah. and then zooms in. Yeah, because yeah. I go, like, to this. That is so sweet. Are we ready to spin? All right, let's do it. Spin. <laughs> mystical wheel of... Wheel of mystical fortune. Hello, dropkick. Did we I say mean, hello to you yet? I don't know if we have. Chris... Now that you've got these hooked up, was the money spent on them worth it? Oh, absolutely. But so, anyways, well, the problem is, I was going to say is, you could program these during the week, but you can't see what they're where they're pointed and stuff. So, no, I would need you to leave one of the cameras on. Yeah. What I should do is, I can I should hook up a little webcam. The way of that one webcam here. Well, that would work too. And just leave it yeah. that way. Your computer's on. Yeah, I just, just, need, I just need to be able to see what they're pointing at. So this is for mayhem, and then we will draw. And then let's yep. do the scavenger hunt. Okay. Let's do it. Get nerf darted! Thanks, Mayhem. Unfortunate. <laughs> what? I don't want to get nerf darted again. A lot of nerf darted. Put your helmet on. I could. I'm going to. Except my eyes will still be exposed. Close, Close them. them. <laughs> and we hit in the feet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> we heard way too many Kara squeals, and I think David realizes he needed to aim for me for one. Yeah. Well, well I think he was trying to go up and down. And down. I was more worried about the wall behind. <laughs> Here's the thing. I was covering my eyes. And let me tell you, I need my hands for work. 
Whoa, the, the, the punk gold dip, dip looks, looks, look at when some of the oh, colors. Oh, that's cool, yeah. Some of the colors, it gets like neon. Yeah, it's like a black guys, light oh, right there. there. You guys yeah. Can see it. yeah, you saw it for like a millisecond. That's super cool. That's super cool. cool. Wow, jinx. All right, do a draw and let's see who this ingot is going towards. Yeah, we do need a mirror ball. That looks like the Death Star. I'm just saying. Well, so Jeremy, like, eventually we have to get those lights on the billboard too. Oh yeah, I got it. Wait, do what are we doing? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Stars on the billboard. I want to 3D print some like Tie Fighters and garbage and like hang it in the back, make it look like they're flying around back there. Builders, Mark, we have Kara's hole. That's <laughs> ridiculous. Blasted, oh, Builders, and you Mark. don't have an intensity control on the lights, do you not? We have oh, the yeah, 3D. We have the 3D printed gauntlets at home. We've 3D printed. We've done all the bulk town stuff. Except Jeremy. I think we talked about this last week. Gwen says so bright. Jeremy forgot that I am not like a, I have a white normal smile, size I'm woman. Who needs dental bleach when you can just overexpose the crap out of yourself? <laughs> there, does that make you feel better? That's a little. Oh, now way there's more like reasonable. lines going. It's weird. I think it's the refresh rate, rate of the light. Yeah, it is. Yep. All right, we're drawn now. Kabang! Who is it? So, so monkey, monkey research! You just said I take a best oh, car in it. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, got one, sir. Number four. Are you here? You have one, don't Does he have one? I believe he I does. I think so. But that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Totally fine. I just wondered what number he has. Yeah, he says I won. Nifty. Stone monkey, what num you what number ingot do you have? Other all right, if you have one. I forget who has one. Oh blacksmith, you're David hilarious. has the uh, list. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just win that? Thanks. <laughs> Blacksmith, are you sitting at your computer? Because <laughs> I think you'll have a slight advantage if you are. But if what? you're not, oh, we're going to do a scavenger yeah. hunt. No, he doesn't have one. He doesn't? Oh, you don't? Stone Monkey? Wait, Stone Monkey doesn't have one? That's right. Darth Gallum has one. Hmm. Well, congratulations. Oh, and Stone Monkey uh, and Darth Gallum know each other. Uh, pretty sure they're, they're bros. All right, Chris, I'm going to send you the link to post in chat. You have not sent me what the correct answer is yet either, have you? Uh, yeah, that is in Messenger. Oh, is it? Oh, I missed it. So this is also going to be in Messenger? I'm going to get both? Yes. Okay. Is anybody getting sick of the lights? I just want to make sure like we're not killing people here. Like It's not bothering me at all. I just want to make sure people are fine. Yeah, I have a picture I sent you on Messenger, and you see that. That's the answer. And there we go. Yep. Boom. You post that. I mean, ma'am, you're not wrong. If you were, they wouldn't be answering. It's because they're... Having a seizure on the floor. Currently, yeah. Yes. I really like okay, the red and so green. I've, okay, we have that set up. Now <laughs> I just need to get to here. We should. <laughs> <laughs> have a thing that pops up like you know the beginning of video games it says oh flashing lights you know if you some people or there we go whatever however it goes I, it, when you copy a scene it won't let you rename it so I just have test scene test scene copy and then <laughs> other one that's named test scene copy it's not even test scene <laughs> copy too so I can't I, I'm gonna have to re, I'm, these are nonsense scenes anyway but I have no way of telling what they are all right, I'm pasting the link into chat. Okay, you guys. I'm going to pin this as well. Okay, so if you pin that, you're going to go to that link. Mm -hmm. It's going to give you directions. You're going to go there, and on each one of those pages, there's going to be an answer you're going to be looking for. Type, you replace the thing before the .html with your answer, and that'll bring you to the next link. There's like five or six steps to this. So you guys do that. We'll keep talking. Are we going to go through it too, Chris? If you want me to, I, I can totally. Because we can go, I guess we can go through it as just at a little bit slower pace. So no, when Jeremy says you replace the, what do you replace? The thing before .html. When you do that, so it like, is from the original link that Chris posted, not the website you're currently on. Correct. Yeah. So let me, uh, let me, uh, where's the freaking thing? Okay, so if I go internet, share, web share, web share, web share, this. Okay, so 
there is if you if you guys so if you guys look at the link that I posted, you would replace the ROTP 0415 hunt. Uh, after hunt. Chunk. Sorry. Nope. It'll be there's going to be a thing dot HTML. Oh, OK. Yep. Yep. Is if that, you is that. Yep. Right. Yeah. If you read in the directions, it says that plus. Oh, OK. It has the instructions on there. OK, that's perfect. Yep. yep. Replace answer in the answer dot HTML with the thing. Yes. All right. So we're going to hop over. Visit Blazy. And Cam's ankle says lowercase, always. So don't capitalize, don't be all sassy and capitalize things. All right, so Blazzy is one of the very first, uh, well, Blazzy's just a good friend of our show. Mm -hmm. And he streams on Tuesdays and he plays, does challenges. So mm -hmm. he's eating horseradish, kombucha. Um, I very much think he needs to eat pickled pig's feet. And so, did you just, did you just, on the share, grab that one, Chris, or no? Grab what? Oh, okay, we're good. Okay, so the first hint is who was his first follower. Ooh. Who was his first You can see follower? that? Well, if you read right below Blazzy295 is offline, I would like to do a shout out to my first follower. Oh, uh, okay, well, now, here's the thing. Now, we can't give people, like, oh, we're, no, such solid hints, Jeremy. Well, no, we're, well, we should be we should be pretty far behind. We should be far behind. Okay. And then, and then if anybody... Here. Yep. Last week, we were at, like, three of five or six, and somebody already had, had gotten it. Uh, oops, okay, so I need this. Yep. Copy. I was able to do this on mobile. I was definitely a little bit slower, but I was able to do it on mobile. Okay, so... Let, all right, so just like just go, going back to the gist of what this is. So this is an internet scavenger hunt, right? Yep. So the rules are click on the pinned link in chat. And then it explains here. So the first person to enter the final message in chat will win. And so I have it set up. If you enter in with the final messages, it'll trigger a sound. It'll only let the first person who enters it enter it. So whoever's first will know who wins. <laughs> Brad. Um, so if you click on the thing, so this is the website that the link brings you to. Right? <laughs> so then you just copy. Whoops, where's my mouse? You will copy this into a new browser window. And you replace the chunk that says answer with the answer to each leg of the journey, and it brings you to the next page. So we already did the first one. Yep. Uh, so just so we clicked the link here, because this is what kicks us off, right? Yep. And it says, who is his very first follower? So we go over to here, and you look on the website, and you're like, oh, oh hey. it says, I would like to shout out my very first follower, jcan72. So then you go... Let me just jump back to here. So then this part that you already copied and pasted, we're just going to replace answer with JKN72. And then the nice thing is, once you do it once, the rest of them, all you'll have to do is... JKN72. Aha! And there hey, we go. we made it to the next page. So now it says, let's learn more about Beskar. Go to the bottom of the behind-the-scenes section. Boba Fett's armor previously stated to be made of blank before being retconned into Beskar. Hint sounds durable. So, so, are we gonna go there, or can I give you the answer? No. What? No, what? No, let, let's just let it sit for a second. Jeremy is like. I knew the answer to this question. Good. For I know you. the answer to it too. You see, Chris does without even having to go to the page. I'm gonna message it to you. Yes, you're correct. Yep. Yep. So Some Carol, of us are real Star Wars fans. Carol, <laughs> oh Darth Gallum knew too. All right, so yeah, like I don't like this isn't like the most intuitive process, but like once you kind of make sense of once you do it once once yeah. you know how to do it, you know yeah, how to do it. do it once it makes sense. Well, the nice thing is you're already at the dot answer dot h, so you <laughs> can just worth. delete it out. Yep. All right, so second mission. I'd say we just go for it. Just punch it in. Wait, Pete just posted. Pete posted the final answer. Post it in chat. Blacksmith Pop got a 404. 
He may, keeps, the, may the force be with you is not the final answer. So you got to keep going. The answer to this question: What was? Bo oh, somebody got it. <laughs> Congratulations, Pete! You just won an ingot. <laughs> Pete. Tara is Bo Katan. Bo Katan is that the answer? That is the answer. <laughs> Dang tootin' I'm Bo Katan. Pete crushed it. Oh, 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 oh. So for those of you who are still going, congratulations, Pete. For those of you who are still going, the answer to Boba Fett's armor was Chris. Go ahead. Durasteel. It was originally Durasteel. Isn't there an actual thing called Durasteel? Well, in Star yeah, Wars that's universe, like what the, but like IRL. Their fancy space age metal alloy that they build other ships out of was Durasteel. I did not know that. And then that leads you to the third hint, I believe, was a cosplayer that you love, Kara. So Jedi Manda, I so my original Ahsoka headpiece, the one out of um, upholstery foam, I followed her tutorial for it. And then at the 2019 Star Wars celebration we went to, Jeremy and I were actually sitting and looking at these shoes at the fest at celebration. They didn't come in my size, unfortunately, so I got a different pair. But she walked past and she touched my shoulder and she was like, what she, she was like, I love your cosplay and walked away. And I looked at Jeremy. I was like, that was Jedi Manda, which I think at that time she was going by, was she Jedi Manda? She Jedi and Amanda. now it's a Mandalorian. I think she calls herself. Are you Funny. serious? Yeah. Well, so that'd be like George Lucas walking by, tapping on the shoulder and saying, I loved your YouTube video. You know, you know what I was just thinking? I think I just th th thought of a way I'll have to get together with Cam's ankle and see if I can do this. If we make one HTML page, and maybe Mike, Mike could help us with this, or you were looking at Mike HTML. Mike absolutely could, well, could. It might be this simple. When we go to the first page, there could be a form where all you do is once you get the clue, you type it in and it just reveals the next thing on the on oh, the page. So you don't have to navigate away. Like a little box you yeah, can type yeah, into. Yeah, you just type mm -hmm. it in and if it's right, it'll unlock yeah. the next clue. Yeah. I like that idea. I mean, if it can be done. Yeah, and then all Which, we'll have well, to do yes, is... Well, yes, it can, of course we can, yeah. but yeah. So that way they don't have can. to like try to leave the page. They can just... And then, and then when we make them each week... We should just be able to, you know, just change the HDMI oh, so to one page. I, I still want to do that Insta360 thing where we do the the Where's Mando or Where's oh, the Windu. He, where he's, like, on the set somewhere. Yeah, and then people can control the camera and try and find him. <laughs> Bradsworth, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. So, Pete, I still have your address because we just sent you something. Um. Anyway, so I want to finish the clues. So I believe... What did oh, I no, say her last name up. is? Haas. Haas, can you type in Haas.html so I can see the next where the next clue is? Yeah. H-A-A-S, I believe. Okay, so we can just we can just do this one. Okay, so this one is uh, we're gonna go to the IMD, which we don't have to. Uh, IMDB oh, page IMDb for the clone, uh, the voice of Ashley X. The voice of Ahsoka is Ashley Eckstein. Yes. And it's going to ask where her hometown is. Orlando, Florida. Chris, wants to, Chris Florida. wants to do the scavenger. You just spoiled it for Chris. Wait, he listened, didn't we listen to her her book on the way home from California? You listened to it on the way home from Celebration Chicago. Oh, that's right. Anyway, she was, she was not born in Orlando, Kara. She grew up, though. But she was not born there. Did, wasn't wasn't it where did she grow up? She was well, no. It was the Orlando oh. was the was the question. Was the answer? Was she raised? Oh, was oh. was she raised in? It was Orlando. Yeah. Because I know she the like second Florida answer in as many scavenger hunts as we've had. <laughs> Jeremy, do you like these uh, colors on the back wall? I love the colors. I do on too. The back wall. Okay, this one's fun. Which one's it? Visit Lego.com and check out the mm. Mandalorian starfighter, and you got to figure out the piece count. Oh my goodness. Um, did you guys see that pre up for pre-order right now is the Emperor's Throne Room? I saw that, thanks to you. Yeah. I got a, a notification from uh, Target about that. Chris, it looks really answer? cool. 412? As you guys can tell, this is somewhat somewhat Mandalorian theme this week. Yeah. Beskar. Bo-Katan. Ashley Eckstein. Bo-Katan. Did you see um, Ashley Eckstein and um, 
Rosario Dawson like hugging in. Yes, uh, I did That's not. Funny. I did. Rosario Dawson hair was super long. Her hair? Yes. Yeah. You need to see. Like how long? She's it, like long. Okay, it's here's crazy. when hair get like. There are some women with very long and hair. And then this one. But most women with extremely long hair have um, extensions. This one's very sick. Oh, 2025. Whoops. What's what was I, this one? Knows Japan is it Tokyo or? No, Japan should be the answer. Oh, is it? Japan? Oh, is this the next celebration? I mean, Chip will be like five. You want to go to Japan? Why not? That might two thousand dollars for one person. We drop six G balls just for you, me, and Chip to fly there. That'd be a ten year anniversary. Grandpa and Grandma's house for the weekend. Jeremy, I. It'd be our ten year anniversary. For me and you, not for Chip. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it'd be our ten year. Yeah, anniversary. that's why Chip doesn't get to go. Yeah, that's why Chip doesn't get to go. I agree. He's gonna be like seven. He'll be five. Whatever he doesn't. Like, you want to bring a five year old to Japan? You're nuts. Actually, he'd be like four and a half. He'd take me with instead, and I can get uh, free. Uh, yeah, let's room. bring Dave instead. Free room? I, yeah, my uncle lives in, or uh, cousin lives in, just outside of. Uh, Wait, Tokyo. doesn't your cousin live in Japan? Not anymore. He lives oh. in the East Coast. Fine. Oh, Japan! Oh, twist. <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't know if I'd want to be overseas. I like what Cam Cam said. Gus Gus said. Cam Cam. A few of us could all pitch in for a private jet. I I mean. Private jets aren't that expensive. Cam, you're not wrong. That's pretty cool. I agree. Put in chat. Jeremy so, eating pizza if you want to no, know this. come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, every, every pizza emote is $10 towards our private jet. <laughs> Pete, you're talking about neuroplasticity. It's a very interesting thing. There is a limit of what I'm able to achieve for chess because I don't longer have the neuroplasticity. I can only ever get so it's good. It's like your skin. Yep. Your skin's only going to get droopy and saggy hey, from here on out. Brad said he'll chips it. <laughs> Aww. They would have a blast together. Brad, would you take him to Disney every day? Well, That'd not every be day. awesome. Can I go with Brad and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> we'll drop you off on the way, because then technically you probably fly that way to go to Japan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. We just need to go through the 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 Earth's core. Yeah, right? <laughs> There's always a bigger fish. Cam says, Domo arigato. Domo yes. Arigato. No, I'm super bummed out it was in Japan. It surely should have been in Orlando. So... Whenever I used to feed our cats, I used to sing the Domo Arigato. That song? Is it? Yeah, Mr. Roboto by Styx. Yep. So I used to sing that for them, and they would come running to eat. I was going to say, the poor cats probably started salivating to, 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 the, <laughs> to Styx music. Could you imagine having your food <laughs> get Swanky. you going? Well, it's just like, it's like in the office when... Uh... Okay, here's what's stupid, Chris. Here's what's stupid. Oh, my goodness. I have to wrap this story up quickly. Chris and I, a long time ago, joked about getting a billboard. And we thought, where in the world are we going to put it? We want to get our most bang for our buck. And I don't know why. I, I, this but, is amazing. But we talked about putting a billboard outside the Tokyo airport. Like, so people No, in, I remember this you remember conversation. This? It was like for, right when we first started to, or like did the podcast. So now yep. we're going to have to put the billboard up before a Star Wars celebration. Dude, that'd be incredible. Just rise of the podcast QR code. That's the whole billboard. You know, yeah. and then rise of the podcast, right? We'll oh, go dude, with Swanky, cool um, and w- when they're I, singing karaoke drunk, we'll give out QR codes to all the drunk <laughs> Japanese businessmen. And, and they'll be like, yeah, I'll follow you. Boom. We'll get like. No, sponsor. Sponsor. I like sponsor. I like sponsorships. I'm just saying. Are you serious, Brad? You know a guy who can get us a billboard at airports? Of no course way. you would. Uh, what? Of course, yeah. I what forget that Brad knows like everything about the field that I'm in. Well, yeah, he's an actor. So I try to be like, <laughs> he's, like just like dropping laser targeted missiles on all of my stuff. <laughs> you know what was really trippy, Chris? Um, that he's not an actuary. No, <laughs> that our local <laughs> news station, the one you left, a fi- like when their news show ended the other day, it said this program was brought to you by Gray or whatever, and they're like, actually, that, that's the standard closing. Now you do your show outro, and then you do that splash card. That I just saw that splash card. So what does that have to do with what? What? Well, no, it's just that. So, Brad, Brad works used to deal with gray. Yeah, there you go. It's a swanky. World. Just said you can get tickets for less than fifteen hundred. You just need to learn how to shop for flights. Brad um, I don't, or swanky. I don't, don't even know how to pay Brad a hundred dollars a ticket to get us cheap tickets. So swank, um, 
what Jeremy got tickets to Hawaii for five hundred and fifty dollars round trip. That was a good deal. That was a really good deal. Yep. I was in hygiene school and Jeremy And I also got his round trip tickets to San Juan, Puerto Rico yes. for less than two hundred dollars. It was like hundred and seventy five bucks, I think. And then mm-hmm. What? Who did that? That's that's me. It's the, this is what Rise of the Podcast is in Japanese. Now, okay, when something is like an actual title of something, do they say it? Well, you're right. It's translating it because the, all of the words are non, yeah, right. common words or whatever. I think I understand mm. the word podcast in Japanese. Yeah. Because you can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Well, we have a plan, everybody. I well, thought I we weren't gonna, going, but apparently cool, we, like, we are. looking Japanese, right? Yep. Like, how cool would it be to have the, the kanji for Rise of the Podcast? That would be pretty cool. Jeremy, I want you to get that tattooed on your arm. You get a tattooed <laughs> on your Only arm. Only for somebody to tell you that that, that really actually means hamburger, Jeremy. <laughs> I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to translate it back. Oh, yeah. And just see what happens here. J H A. There it is right there. I think you could have just clicked. The Rise of Podcasts. See? It would have been a mistranslation. I would have got the wrong thing tattooed on my body. Who knows Japanese? Is there anybody who knows Japanese? If Cam says he knows Japanese, I'm going to lose my (laughs) Stone Monkey says it translates as Podcast University. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my goodness. That's absolutely mind boggling. Okay. (laughs) So Stone Monkey won an ingot. Pete won an ingot. Is that correct? Perfect. Yes. Now, Pete, did did Pete win a numbered one or a regular, regular one? A regular. Pete, do you want one of these new poured ones? Or the last number? This one's really pretty because it's got like a gloop. Oh yeah, it does. Here's a numbered one. 15. Cam says 110. Oh, these are some beautiful ingots. I got one of the he, new ones. It's great. He, 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 he put how to count 1 to 10 in Japanese. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, so Bill, no, but see, Bill, I got one of the new ones. Builder's Mark. Pete, do you want a numbered one then? <laughs> Blacksmith pot. It it's does kind of look like a old timey. And Builder's Mark, you should have gotten your blue ones. I sent those out immediately. Did say delivered. Roku, he's one of the avatars. Isn't he? Pre-COVID, he could fly for 600. Now it's a G-ball. Jeez. We're going to have to save money. All right, that's for... Well, Well, my other idea for our 10-year anniversary would have been to um, spend... Or stay at the immersive Star Wars hotel at Disney. <laughs> Blacksmith Pop. This set kind of looks like a late night dating game set. Yeah, Is that a good thing or a bad that. thing? It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. We we really um, we remind people of what the set normally looks like. Contestant number one. What do you consider the perfect date? Oh my goodness. I'd like to start off with some great dining. (laughs) Um, April 24th. Oh my goodness. (laughs) It's not too hot. It's not too cold. You just need a light jacket. You're so silly. What? I don't even know if April 24th was the right day, but. Dry brush that panel, though, to really make it pop. We need to get all the the, grieve leaves for this. Yes. That one, Chris. Oh, Lights yeah. and stuff. It needs to be dry brushed for con- for contrast. Yeah. So here's the thing, Pete. I don't think you pay for the weekend. It's like four days, three nights. You don't pay per night. It's like a whole immersive thing. For what? The um, Star Wars Hotel at Disney. Fi- that's finally dropping in price. Thank goodness. Is it really? Yes. This is for Dropkick. I had some patients that went there for the husband's 40th birthday Ooh, honest unfiltered oh. opinion what do you want Dropkick. our honest unfiltered opinion about yes just pick a topic anything mm-hmm. japan so far the one that guy's talking the most i think was darth gallum asking us about teachers lord of the rings remake i'm just saying elijah wood 
yeah, came so. out and he made a really big post about like saying they better be reverent towards like what token wrote in his books and not go off and do your own thing i think he may have been referring to rings of power but you know what i'm saying but whatever Carrie, you're so funny. what so if, if star wars had to stick to only the six scripts that george lucas wrote we would not have anything that star wars has now just well no i know but like rings of power completely changed the story star wars is adding on like yeah, they've retconned a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> but they didn't like they rings of power literally changed everything they made yeah Kara's a pure. All right. I, I, is think, a I, I think you're, lady. you're splitting hairs. I just was. Well, see, I had a conversation at work. Dropkick, you don't even need to give us anything. It was like, we're all spun up. Somebody, <laughs> my coworker, Derek, he said, hey, when they remake, not if, when they remake the Avenger movies and, you know, Iron Man movies, who are they going to get that's better than Robert Downey Jr.? And I'm thinking, they don't need to remake those movies. But you know what? At some point, they probably will. If they're going to remake Lord... And then this is like like logical fallacy, the snowball effect, where blah, blah, blah. I don't care because true stuff that does happen. If they're going to remake Lord of the Rings, then I'm sure they're going to remake every movie. Then every we, we need more IP. That's what I want. We need more new IP. We wouldn't have Indiana Jones if George Lucas and Steven Spielberg only ever like did Star Wars stuff. Like we, they ventured out and tried something new. We got, you know, uh, Lord of the Rings. We got, you know, the Lion. I don't know. We need new IP. Jurassic Park is ripping off. Harry Potter. I mean, we had like there's all this fun stuff. Don't remake movies anymore. I hate remakes. Well, so like talking about like the Robert Downey Jr. thing. Like who's gonna be better than Robert Downey Jr.? Imagine like. Like in the fifties, if someone was like, "Oh, like if, if, if someone remakes Ocean's Eleven, who's gonna do any better than the Rat Pack?" Right, <laughs> right. And then we literally just shotgunned like eleven of the biggest stars that we had at the time at it, and it made a buttload of money. And right? see, that's so, what's so. sad. It is about money. They're, they're, they're remaking Lord Warner Wait, Brothers or New Line. Are you, they're remaking Harry Potter too. Theoretically, the TV show is a remake of the same original content. They need to stop. Harry like, Potter does not need to get remade. It doesn't. It's done. No, I agree. Lord of the Rings does not need to be redone. Harry Potter does not need to be redone. You know, like Dune, I guess I maybe understand, you know, because, you know, Dune. Well, so, like the thing that I'm thinking about is like has, what what the only thing that I can imagine, like redoing a very successful film franchise is like, oh, the effects weren't up to the standard to be able to tell the story. Right. What is there in Harry Potter that was left out that they Nothing. couldn't have done? They were able to be you know, very magical and cool. Twilight, Twilight shouldn't have happened in the first like, place. I'm gonna ban you from <laughs> this for saying that. <laughs> um, and here's the other thing too: if they ever remake the original trilogy, I will be madder than a wet hen. As in four, five, and six. Pete just said, "Imagine if they remade Star Wars." See, that's what I'm saying. They do not need to remake okay, Star Wars. So I had a patient this week tell me he heard from a friend who loves Star Wars that. Um, 789 is no longer canon. <laughs> I don't know. No, not with not with Ray's new movie coming out. Well, that's why I told him. I was like, they've got new Ray hey, stuff well, coming well, out. Just because she's got a standalone movie coming doesn't mean they can't retcon out 789. Yeah. So, yeah, they're saying it's no. I don't know. I haven't. I told him. I was like, I haven't heard anything about it. I'd have to look I it up. I haven't heard but, anything about it either. Yeah, yeah. He said a friend who's like, and I was like, I now, see you, Swanky. I asked him, I was like, does your friend like the new movies and he's like no he's the type that hates everything and i was like so could it be the type of thing like in his mind he's like nah that is not canon yeah. keep but, in mind they have updated the original trilogy like five times like the original visual effects look pretty crunchy like it's very watchable now because of the updated effects yeah and they yeah and then the delete you know the the whatever scenes mm -hmm. and well, the adding the extra scenes, I don't think was necessary, but like definitely, like if you look at like the like the trench run scene, like they compare yeah. like the original footage to the modern version of it, it's like it looks pretty. It, it looks like nineteen seventy seven. It's like you can see why mm -hmm. you kept on updating the footage, right? Not saying that it was necessary, but <laughs> prize of the you podcast remake did. only on Netflix. Wait, Madam Mutant, you heard that too? Han did shoot first Cam's ankle. Uh, yeah. Anyone who says different, I'll fight you. It's amazing what? how much the, soft the lights on. It's amazing how much the soft boxes like soften the light. <laughs> oh, okay, Mike D's just trolling. That's all I see. Who activated a nine IMDb game? 
past the end of the show. <laughs> well, Stone uh, Monkey, Monkey Research did. Stone Clint Monkey. Eastwood. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the IMDb show. <laughs> See, now IMDb you need a game. yellow. You need a ye- don't do it now, but you need a ye- like an all yellow. What I can do it now. See, no, like don't do it seconds. now. It's where we gotta finish the IMDb game and wrap up. Okay, so for those of you who don't know how the game works, I will go to IMDb and use the suggested celebrity, which is Clint Eastwood, and it is our job to determine whether or not Clint Eastwood has appeared in more films or fewer films than screen legend Sean Connery. To maintain the integrity of the game, we do suggest that you don't look up how many films Sean Connery has been in. But so the name of the game is for us to figure out if Clint Eastwood has appeared in more films or fewer. Sean I'm going more. Clint Eastwood's been in a lot in of stuff, but I'm going to say less. I'm going to say less. I'm going with more. Everyone's I'm saying more so more. far. What? Even so, you, David? And, yep. and remember, this is credited actor appearances <sighs> as listed less. by IMDb. I'm saying less. <laughs> Defo more. It's stupid when the effect goes away. Why is it so trippy? Just give me my big mouth. <laughs> Less. Why? <laughs> is it only be a one at a time? Is that why? Give it. Well, a Swanky you know, it should, is. It should be a two. Swanky is agreeing with you, Jeremy. He says less. Come on, less. <laughs> give you my big mouth. Words I'd never thought I'd say. All right. So um, then again, the disclaimer is: keep in mind this is accredited acting roles as listed by IMDb. I didn't make this up. I'm just using their numbers. What's TOS? The original series. Yeah, the original Twilight original series. Right now, the, that 70s show. The, this is is this Star Trek? <gasps> yeah, Star Trek, the original series. Yeah, TOS. It's got, that's what it's got to be. If it's not, I'd be surprised. I'm going to go with that because DMAT yeah. said See, uh, Yeah, DMAT agrees with me. All right, so shocking upset. He's appeared in fewer films than Sean Connery. For real? For I knew real. it. I knew it. Whoa. Because I don't know for the spirit of the game how many movies Sean Connery has been in, but it's surprisingly more than you'd think. And I just don't think Clint Eastwood had gotten there. That's why I went with less. Way to go. Who has agreed with me? Swanky? Yeah, Swanky, Swanky agreed. Wow. Wow. Dude. Never would I have oh, thought. Length on. Oh, okay. So it looks like Mike D got us some yellow lights. So just real quick, I just need to figure out which. So the center light is on yellow. Yep. Right. Is, that, is that this one? Nope. Now you just shut one off. That's green. That one blinked. That one's staged well, right to David, left to me. So, because I have one of them on yellow already. I just need to figure out which one's that yellow. one. This one. So yellow is 49. So I just need to punch this to, oh, whoops. I need to duplicate this first. Duplicate. Speaking of which, okay. 49. Oh, I just found out how to rename. (laughs) Man or Mutant. Clint Eastwood first role in the movie Tarantula. I learned a fun fact about Paul Walker. Okay. Guys, it's terrible. You guys aren't even going to believe me is how outlandish this is. I One of Paul Walker's first movies was called Tammy and the T-Rex. It's bad. And, and it's in a video game. He, what? Yeah. Um, really? Why can't I think of the name of that game? Now? <sighs> but it's Yellow, an, it's, it's not my color. But it's an actual movie, David, yeah. too. Oh, I know. So Paul Walker is like in love with the high school prom queen or whatever, and a bunch of bullies beat him up. So they threaten, you know, stay away or we'll come after you again. So he doesn't stay away or she pursues him. He gets beat up and put in a coma. d says that movie was bad. He gets put in a coma and the only way to save him is to transplant his brain into a T-Rex. And he continues to like go after And the then he goes and he kills everyone. I mean, I'm sure I would, that beat him up. Like, if I was a T Rex. In the trailer, you saw him gutting some of the teens. <laughs> so they play that movie in the game High on Life. Are you serious? You can sit there and actually watch the movie on the Are TV you in the serious? House. Yep. Disgusting. No way. Hey, Bear Jew, better late than. 
<laughs> we are literally just about to cut in Seattle. Most of my stream. Why is one of them still green? I changed all of them to yellow. I the don't floor, know. the original floor one, is still green. Yep. Your very first one, address zero 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 one, I believe. Now it's blue. Now it's yellow. Now it's the same. There we go. That's that's yellow out. So Chris can do. Do you like it being all yellow? <laughs> I do, but yeah, we need to like like not have them overlap, you know, or something. I don't know. I'm not oh, the okay. marketing that's guy. Easy here. Enough. So the floor. So one. funny. Well, we do need to wrap up. Yep. Are we gonna raid someone? Of course we are. Dave gave me a suggestion for I, somebody. I think to they're raid. done now. Who? Yeah, they're off already. Oh, are they? I can't wear it because I have glasses. Bear, you just got to. Oh, I know. We another IMDb. Do we have another IMDb game? No, yep. we don't. Refund whoever redeemed that. Cam. That. It was two minutes ago. Cam, you trog. <laughs> <laughs> you trog. Now we. I'm sure my parents are already out there. Like, where are they? Where are they, Mr. Chip? We need to get Mr. Chip home and get him to bed. Will Wheaton. I. I would go for a hard less for Will Wheaton. All right, we just want to do that real quick. It's easy enough for me to look that up. Fine, we'll give Cam what he wants. Is it Will Wheaton? Is that who you chose? I'm going to say less. I would go with less. Builder's Mark says a trog is a troll and a frog. I mean, that's fitting. Wasted time in Swanky. What are you guys doing with those <laughs> puns? All right, everyone. So you, you guys are someone saying less. Go ahead I'm saying more. less. Why not? I'm saying less. I'm going less. Cam says Cam more. more. Because of the Everyone's fog, my shoe looks... crazy. Less, less, less. All right, the consensus is less. He has appeared in more films No way. Are Shark you Hunter. serious? Cam asks, so he must have knew. Like, don't think yeah, I didn't know. Don't, yeah, don't try and like figure it out by... By cheating and actually looking at the end. Literally the only thing I've ever heard or seen Will Wheaton is is in Big is Theory. Big Bang Theory and Star Trek. He's had a billion cameos. No. He's on a YouTube channel where they review board games. It, it's a pretty good channel too. See? All right. We need to wrap up. You guys, thank you so much for doing our scavenger hunt with us, spending your night with us, and just oh, we, being patient. Oh, sorry. Who should we raid? Vile mods? Vile mods or Chris Perillo are really our only... Let's do vile mods because I love Chris Perillo, but his new channel, it's not... He may or may not be there. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a bummer. All right. So we'll go vile mods and... Uh, so I want to end the show by saying sorry to everybody who's listening to the audio-only version of the podcast. Yet again, we provided absolutely nothing of value to you, but you can always make that better by joining us live every Saturday night at twitch.tv slash rise of the podcast or by catching any of our old videos streaming on YouTube at youtube.com slash rise of the podcast. If you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to like the video and comment down below to carry on the conversation. Um, if you do want to punish yourself <laughs> and not see all the cool stuff we're doing here and listen to the audio-only version of the podcast, you can listen to us on Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts, and a bunch of other places that are not nearly as good as those three. Uh, thank you guys, everybody, for joining us every single Saturday night. It makes it a super big blast, and now we're getting even more crazy fun stuff built in here, so I hope you guys keep back and joining us. Thank you all so much for watching, and of course... May the Force be with you.